I was like, that's fine. Are there, there are definitely people who are just like, ugh, Kirsha's content is terrible now. When Ki when Kirsha was a terror streamer, she was actually good, but but now, now she's she's just a pick me. It's terrible now. And it's like, well, I mean, that's that's just like your opinion, man. If you don't if you don't like my content now, you don't gotta watch it, right? Like, I'm sorry that you don't like the direction I went in with my content. When I played Terra, I still read articles. I still talked on political topics. Maybe not as flagrantly and openly as I do now, because I was terrified of being cancelled if I came out and said certain things. It's still a worry when I talk about certain topics. But I have I have weathered uh, cancellation storms already, so you know. You a pick me? Okay. <laughs> I, I, I think that men should be treated a bit better than they are in modern society, so I am a pick-me, apparently. A <laughs> pick-me equals not mindless a dick through drone. <laughs> Red hot take. This is a public service announcement. Kiyoshu and chat are super mega duper cute and lovely less than three. Munya! What changed uh, for me and made me realize I could actually go off and be all right. I mean, like I said, I still get anxiety when I talk about certain topics because, you know, it's it's uh, ya bye to talk about them in modern society. But uh, I just felt like I wasn't being honest with myself. And I was like, if I'm already talking about my opinions, like in my not safe for work channel, and if I am going to complain about other people who are too afraid to speak out, and so things just keep getting worse, wouldn't I be doing the same thing if I do not voice my opinions as freely as I would like to? You know? And so, like, especially when it came to the issues that are facing women spaces with, like, autogynephiliacs pretending to be trans people, I felt like that was something that I really wanted to talk about more often. And... I anger both sides with my take on this because I think that people on the right don't give any sort of credence to people with actual dysphoria. They want to just lump all of them together. And then people on the left, it's in their best interest to keep self-ID and keep the activists and the autogynephiliacs under the umbrella of trans even though they're not. So I was like, I make, I make everyone fucking pissed <laughs> with my take on that.